Well, welcome back to finals day here at the Western Australia Margaret River Pro. It's a good uh, shot of main break, letting you know what's on offer today. And here's our competitors that are going to be battling in quarterfinal number four. Ethan Ewing up against John John Florence. This one during the break, Ethan Ewing climbs up into the section. Nice slice under the lip there. Looking to put up a solid score against John John Florence here. Yeah, uh, well, Ethan looking really good through this inside section. Does he outrun it? Go, mate. No. It absolutely uh, runs him down here, but a couple of nice calves to open up on this wave. And uh, there's that uh, precision form and style that we're used to seeing from Ethan Ewing. He's uh, acquired so many fans around the world. He's sort of the modern day uh, Tom Curran, shades of Andy Irons in the style for sure. And uh, just throws that final hit and just tries to outrun this thing. Mate, you're going to have to catch some waves. Just don't sit there. Don't be dormant. You're going to have to try and get some reps up and find some sections. I like it, Whoa. which is, you know, John John Florence. Just a, a rare catch of the rail there. You know, your board's buckled and you're going to just get kicked off. Ethan Ewing at the moment looking to finish this one off in style. Doesn't quite get on top of the section but still does ride out of that final hit and he'll make his way into the Red Bull ski and get back to that takeoff zone in no time. Still plenty of minutes on the clock for Ethan Ewing and John John Florence here. 12 minutes for Cola Pinto and Mamiya. You're going to turn in an excellent score is to start well and finish strong. John Florence here at the moment just trying to turn around a, a pretty scrappy start by his standards. Looks like these walls are maybe cleaning up a little bit and there is a typical trademark John John layback and <laughs> look at the finish. Wow. Two turn combo. Like it? Yeah, have a look at this. This one stood up perfectly for John and uh, just goes for the big layback hammer off the lip. Just, you know, got that got that foot right above uh, the tail, right on the kick of the tail pad there. Trying to maintain control and not just one, backs it up with a great combination here. Bit more vertical in the attack on this one, Ron. Yeah, a bit more vertical, I think, than we've seen any of the regular footers so far today. Kaipo, we get to see it in super slow-mo here on screen. Smart line there for the Hawaiian surfer. As we now see Ethan Ewing up. Nice slice. He's got to respond now. Big test for Ethan Ewing, who's uh, had some very strong scores of his own in this event. Just really didn't put himself in harm's way and we draw our attention now out to ethan ewing oh just textbook carve love how high you know he's kept on the top third of that wave through that carve and was able to whip it back around but he knew right then okay look i'm, I'm only looking at a maybe a five or a six that's not going to cut it don't waste your time get back out there and find a better one welcome back to the show here on finals day live action unfolding here is john john florence Looks to light up main break once again. Strong opening turn, transitioning now into a big frontside carve, drawing it right back into the bowl, getting tangled up in the white water, but has complete control as he finishes this one off on the bricks. Didn't quite get the end section turn right this time, but it was a big combo on the outside. Definitely goes into his top two. And he's starting to put the squeeze here on Ethan Ewing. Still got a smile on his face. Yeah, he sure does. And uh, foamy section, but that's no problem for this guy. Goes to that trademark layback hook. Still eyes set down the line. Have a look at it. And now he's following the path. Carves through this turn. Bang, puts the release on. Redirects, just uh, plays with that little foam ball there. Comes through to this final section and basically just ran out of water up and over the roof. Came down and really, this is, again... I keep coming back to that Hawaiian reference. This is ever, any given day out at uh, Iokai Beach Park, right in front of John John's house. And a uh, couple other things to note here, Ron. Kaipo watching on out there in the lineup. John John Florence busy again. Kaipo, take it away. Here we go, John John. Looking solid here. Nice carve. Smaller wave under priority. I uh, don't know if this is going to go into his top two, Ron. No, it is a smaller ride. A beautiful opening carve. Just. A, Again, just that freakish ability to rip these calves back into that bowl. And it's a scary bowl to kind of get tangled up with Kaipo because it can really pack a punch. Semi-final heats, just one spot left. 
And Ethan, he needs to make this right count. Let's see what he can do with it. Smooth style as he drives into that first section. Had to get on the attack. Mistimed. And he looks a little rattled. He has just looks so confident on his road through to this point in the competition. Ethan's wave a little bit smaller. Starts off a little sleepier, but then he starts to get that wrap going. Great fade back into the pocket. Another clean turn. So it, a two-turn combination. I get uh, too far ahead of yourself here. Let's have a look at John. Just super late takeoff here. Hits the eject button and uh, tries to just sort of pencil dive and penetrate straight under that wave. Been gifted a good opportunity here not to be chasing more than an 8.33. And we'll see if he can make it a count. But, uh, you know, we're, we're watching it from uh, here on the beach. Sure is. John John activates with the lead, gave over priority to Ethan Ewing, but a big carve goes down. This may be the opportunity, Ron, for Ethan Ewing. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Ethan now with priority. There's a glimmer of hope for Ethan Ewing. Got a second in the first round, but that'll see you through to the round of 32. He had to come up against Jacob Wilcox, also overcame Interlow in this event. Up on a huge section at the moment. Wow, really attacked that section. And fortunately for, for Florence Ethan, he can't get to the uh, end of the ride in, in time to lay into something big on the end of this one. Give him a minute or so, but let's see what happens here. Big section standing up in front of him. He attacks, stays out of danger, and unfortunately that ride just, uh, the wave just closed out in front of him, so nothing more on offer. But a really committed turn here, you can see. Didn't go too high. Just a full lip lip glide. Such a tricky section to read when that uh, offshore wind's howling. I just uh, I just love that second car from Florence. As we see, Ethan now making his move after an excellent score, an 8.33. That's a fantastic start. Second section lays a little flat. But he does well to, to finish it off. No, can't hang on. And with just under a minute to go, that might have been his last shot at it. I think he needed a bit more wall to work with. But unfortunately, just uh, he's not going to get the win here over this man who just has so much control over Margaret River main break. Yeah, looking strong. Another excellent wave score for John John Florence as he charges into the semi-finals. And what a semi it's going to be. He'll be taking on Griffin Colapinto. And we do have the opening semi-final clash just around the corner.